As one of our trustees, Willie Brown, the former mayor of San Francisco said in his column in the Chronicle, this was the Super Bowl of debates. And it turned out to be the Super Bowl of debates, not just for California, but also one of the best things that's ever happened on the university for its students and for the university itself. We had over 200 representatives of the media here, including people from England, Germany, and Hong Kong. The candidates will face off for the third and final time here at Dominican University tomorrow night. You're looking at the very stage where in just 24 hours, candidates Meg Whitman and Jerry Brown will square off one final time. In addition, Tom Brokaw came and taught an intergenerational class with about 20 of our own traditional age students and about 20 students were over the age of 50. You really got to see high involvement from the students as well as the community. Students turned out in overwhelming numbers to volunteer to become involved in this. They did everything from taking people different places in golf carts to handling tickets to helping clean up. Some of them worked side by side with uh, members of the media from throughout the world. And it wasn't just people interested in politics. It wasn't just students interested in communications. It was the student body at, at large that got involved. I really want to hear him talk on Prop 23. AB 32 is really big. That's the, uh, the climate change law in California. Uh, there's a chance it could get uh, repealed. I really want to know what they think. I'm, you know, a junior right now, so I'm going to be a senior, and then I'm going to graduate. So I'm concerned about the economy and whether I'm going to get a job or not. Uh, so that's really what, what I'm looking forward to learning more about. They were students who cared about the issues facing California, and as a result, are going to be better students, but more importantly, they're going to be productive citizens. Dominican forged a relationship with NBC that allowed us to broadcast the debate through the entire state. As viewers turned their televisions on to watch the debate, what they saw was a 30-second spot about Dominican that, that captured the essence of what we are. It doesn't look like your average university, because it isn't. Just 12 miles from San Francisco is an urban oasis where students go beyond the classroom, helping businesses become sustainable, fighting breast cancer, athletes who excel and serve the community. And here, you don't just study history, you help make it. NBC presents the 2010 California Gubernatorial Debate, live from Dominican University of California in San Rafael. Good evening from Dominican University in California in San Rafael, and welcome to the third and final debate of 2010, the race for governor. The candidates looked great up there, so it was, it was very interesting actually being there. Um, it kind of gave you a different perspective as all the viewers at home. To have in my last year as president the most important public event in the history of the university with the widest range of activity, of uh, coverage, not just in California, but the visibility of the institution just expanded dramatically because of it. You know, I'll be honest, it's probably a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'm never going to forget that. 